Good morning, class. Our topic today is methods of food processing, fermentation, pickling, salting. Fermentation. Fermentation is an enzyme-driven metabolic process where organisms convert starch or sugar into alcohol or acid anaerobically, releasing energy. The study of fermentation is called zymology. Types of fermentation. Homofermentation produces one type of product. Heterofermentation produces multiple products and product-based categories. Lactic acid fermentation produces lactic acid from pyruvate via lactate dehydrogenase, generating NAD plus from NADH. Used by lactobacillus bacteria to make curd and by muscles during intense exercise, causing fatigue. Alcohol fermentation produces alcohol and CO2 used in wine, beer, and biofuel production. Pyruvic acid converts to acetaldehyde and CO2, then to ethanol. Catalyzed by pyruvic acid decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase. Acetic acid fermentation produces vinegar in two steps, sugar to ethyl alcohol anaerobically by yeast, then ethyl alcohol to acetic acid aerobically by acetobacter bacteria. Butyric acid fermentation, characteristic of Clostridium bacteria, used in jute redding, rancid butter, tobacco processing, and leather tanning. Produces butyric acid from acetyl-CoA, yielding three ADP molecules. Occurs in the human colon as a byproduct of dietary fiber fermentation, providing energy to the colorectal epithelium. Fermentation is adaptable to various environments and is one of the oldest metabolic processes present in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. It is widely used across different industries. Different kinds of fermentation products, wine, beer, biofuels, yogurt, pickles, bread, sour foods, antibiotics and vitamins, pickling. Pickling is one of the ancient methods of food preservation. It began 4,000 years ago. The term pickle is derived from the Dutch word pekel, meaning brine. It is called a car in North India. The process of preservation of food in common salt or vinegar is called pickling. Pickles are good appetizers, and they aid in digestion by stimulating the flow of gastric juice. Raw materials. Raw materials used in pickling should process definite characteristics. Salt. For pickling, any variety of common salt is suitable, provided it is pure. Salt should be free from lime, as it reduces the acidity of the vinegar in which brine vegetables are pickled. Salt should also be free from iron, which in contact with the tannin of fruit, vegetable, and spice, produces blackening of the pickle. It should also not contain magnesium salts, which impart a bitter taste to the pickle. Vinegar. Vinegar of good quality, containing at least 4% acetic, is suitable for pickling. Vinegar of low acid content is not suitable for pickling. Spices. Spices are added depending upon the kind of fruit or vegetable and the kind of flavor desired. The spices commonly used in a pickle are leaves, cardamom, chilies, cinnamon, turmeric, clove, coriander, ginger, mace, mustard, black pepper, cumin, garlic, fennel, aniseed, etc. Water. Only potable water should be used for the preparation of brine. If hard water is to be used, a small quantity of vinegar should also be added to the brine to neutralize its alkalinity. Coloring and hardening agents. Colors are not generally added to pickles, although they are used to some extent in sauces. Some manufacturers use alum for firmness in pickles. Raw materials used for pickling. Cauliflower, beetroot, mango, tomato, boiled beans, lemon, plums, cucumber, amla, grapes, cabbage, radish, green chilies, apples, ginger, garlic, onion, papaya.